Hey everyone, today I am going to show you how to create consistent AI characters with Runway Gen 2, a step-by-step -step guide. We are diving into the fascinating world of generative AI, specifically focusing on creating consistent characters. Now, working with AI characters can be quite the experiment, and that is precisely what we are here to explore. So. If you are curious about how to create consistent characters using Gen2 AI, stay tuned until the end. Before we dive in, if you want to learn about the latest AI tools and how to use them effectively, please subscribe to our channel for user-friendly tutorials and stay updated. Your support helps us make more informative videos. Now, let us get started. First things first. When working with generative AI, it is important to think like a screenwriter. It is not about being a cinematographer or a director of photography. It is all about creating characters. I asked ChatGPT about good character descriptions in a screenplay, and it had some valuable insights. To start, it advised providing a character's name, specifying their age and gender, and describing their physical attributes. This includes details like height, build, and eye color. So, I decided to put this advice to the test. Let us jump into Gen 2 and create our first character. Someone named David. David is a male time traveler, 28 years old, with blue eyes, an average build, and an asymmetrical hairstyle. Let us generate and see how this character turns out. I have to say, this shot came out fantastic. We have some camera movement. Now, let us experiment a bit more with this character while sticking to the same prompt. We will keep David consistent while making one change. Let us have him hold a book. But there is a key step to remember. Check the seed to maintain consistency. Our character looks great, but I notice that having David hold an object might make the scene look less realistic. So, let us revert to him not holding anything and tweak his look a bit. This time, we will give him sunglasses. With the sunglasses added, it is interesting how subtle changes can affect the character. And speaking of subtle, it seems that Gen 2 can be quite perceptive, like potentially matching his jacket color to his eye color. Now. Let us have some fun and make David express different emotions. How about we have him laughing, looking confused, and sad. These emotional nuances can really add depth to our character. Now, let us introduce a challenge. How will our consistent character look when placed in different settings? We will change the camera angle to a wide shot and David will be standing in the front of a mountain. We have got a different setting and our character still looks quite consistent. It is impressive how Gen 2 adapts. Now, let us take it a step further. We will have David standing in a forest and a meadow filled with white flowers. Here is our character in the forest, and these setting changes add a whole new layer to our character. And there you have it. The world of generative AI character creation is full of endless possibilities. Whether you are designing characters for a screenplay, a novel, or just for fun, experimenting with AI can yield some amazing results. I am eager to know your thoughts. Has our guide proven useful for you? Have you tested it personally? After giving it a go, please share your opinions and insights in the comments. I am genuinely thrilled to learn about your experiences, and your valuable input might offer guidance to those who are thinking about trying it out too. Thank you for watching, and again, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. I hope this video helps you out, and I would love to see you in the next video.